So we're now going to code this um, question in Visual Basic. So we've set up a simple form with a text box to enter the value of n and then an output text box and I've got a button just to make the function easy to call. We're not going to put the code in the button, we're going to write the function separately. So function sequence item we know there's a parameter which we'll call n and the pseudocode used a colon to specify the data type in visual basic we need the keyword as as integer close bracket and the function itself returns an integer so there's our a sequence item function so here's the finished program working so if we put 5 as the parameter it returns 16 if we choose 4 it returns 11 let's look at that code so we're using the iterative solution from the question and the syntax we're using up here the programming we're using up here is just letting us take the text value and putting it into the parameter variable and then that parameter variable is used to call the function. So um, at runtime you can enter different parameters and see the output. Now the challenge is to recode that using recursion.